Welcome, I'm Frederick Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm going to go over the Mikado OM version of the YG speed controller. Uh, it's a controller that you get if you purchase the Logo Extreme uh, in its combo uh, version where you get the V-Bar, you get the speed controller, you get the motor and everything. The main difference between the uh, Mikado OM and the regular YG is it has a little bit different cables uh, size wise but also the both the throttle cable and the um, programming cable are much longer they are made for reaching from the front of the logo extreme to uh, all the way to the back so they are much longer I have wrapped them up here because otherwise it will take the whole desk uh, just to shoot this video it also comes pre-programmed and it's locked in some features meaning you cannot purchase this and believe that you can run a prog card and reprogram this so it becomes a regular off-the-shelf YG it's locked within its firmware to be uh, Mikado OM and that's uh, only because there was so many that accidentally reprogrammed their speed controllers and uh, ran into huge troubles with their big 800 machines and um, so that, that's the way it is and uh, I'm gonna show you it's very easy to set it up but I will show you uh, all the steps and how to connect everything on this version I have a BAC connected uh, I actually pulled this off my Logo 800 just to do this video so we're gonna use that one uh, I have now here my V bar in the on the screen here and uh, with that I have a cable that comes with it actually looks a little bit different because I made this myself but if you purchased a Logo uh, extreme you got a adapter cable it goes so like this that you plug the programming cable into this uh, uh, adapter and that goes into the sensor 2 port on the v-bar where uh, it picks up the rpm from the from the ESC uh, if you look at the e uh, speed control like this this cable on on the right hand side is the throttle and the left hand side is the programming cable in this case it will become the phase sensor out it's a lot of cables on this um, it's a little bit messy because it's a used unit and um, not the best but uh, anyway on this one I have two cables one for programming actually and one for uh, it's the same cable but normally you just have two of those Okay, I tried to tidy up a little bit. So I have my uh, face sensor adapter going into sensor 2 port and then I want my throttle cable to go into the collective slash ESC port on the V-Bar. Uh, you can use other ports, there is options, but I'm gonna use in this sample the most commonly used and that's the ESC port. So we're done connecting cables. Now we're going to do the programming of the V-Bar, which is very easy um, because the speed controller comes pre-programmed. We don't need to set endpoints and stuff like that, uh, but I'm going to cover that. Part. So when you start the program, you will actually see the governor page here is blank. So you need to set up the governor the first thing you do. Uh, I take as uh, already into account, you have done the transmitter calibration. You have also transmitter the calibrated. Uh, ESC throttle here uh, I take this as granted then I go into governor page and I select electric governor make sure you do not have I cannot stress this enough do not have a main blades uh, connected to the helicopter because if you have an armed helicopter uh, things can go really wrong here really fast so I select electric and remember this one press reset because there is maybe some leftovers in the programming and that will cause issues later on so press reset that resets every setting for governor and first of all i want to select which channel on the radio is defining what rpm i want 
and in my case I'm going to use channel 3 it could be any other um, doesn't really matter but in this case I'm going to use the throttle channel on my radio I also want to select which output port in this case collective ESC which I have connected my speed controller to and then I go to governor 2 page now the endpoints you do not have to adjust those with this um, Mikado OM YG speed controller it's predefined it's all good so you do not need to set this then there is two things or actually three things we need to change here first of all maximum head speed it has nothing to do what your helicopter is capable of it's um, has nothing to do what type of helicopter or something it's just with the radio at 100% which is the requested head speed you want um, let's say I want 7 uh, or 700 for 1700 for uh, normal and I want well 1950 for idle 1 and then I want 2100 for idle 2 then I need to enter 2100 here and 100% in my radio will be 2100 it doesn't matter if the helicopter can make it or not, has nothing to do with that. It's just that the governor will ask, I want 2100. I could put uh, 5000 in here, uh, it would work. It's just that uh, there is bigger steps. Each percent in the radio would render a twice as big step or a little more than that, actually. Uh, it's, you, you lose resolution. But it has nothing to do with what the helicopter actually can do. Uh, there is, has nothing to do with the overhead. That's all in the gearing and the uh, mechanical setup in terms of cell count and stuff like that. Then I need to set the gear ratio. In this case it's uh, 9.722. And then sensor configuration. It's the motor pole count divided by 2. Um, in this case it's a 10 pole motor so I should enter 5 press enter what happens if you get that wrong is that the RPM reported by the speed controller will be wrong then we have two settings auto rotation bailout and idle at bailout auto rotation bailout is so you can abort auto rotations um, very nice if you're practicing or just want to have it what the idle does is to spin the motor very very slow. It's not enough to fly around but it's much safer to do uh, bailouts for the speed controller. Everything is safer. Uh, if you want to do full blade stop autos you cannot have this enabled um, because it will spin the blades. But if you're not into actually stopping the blades exactly stopped then it's very good to have because it's much safer to do those very nice very slow blade stop almost blade stops uh, and it's much safer and then uh, we actually done with the setup now there is one thing that I'm gonna stress out here and that's uh, when I'm gonna do bench testing for you now I'm gonna show you now the um, the radio here uh, in the left hand side and there is I, I'm an old, uh, I actually not a nitro user, but some nitro users have this old in normal mode. You want to have the stick down for more rough. It doesn't matter in case of uh, how the governor works. There is no flying around in normal mode uh, as uh, as on a nitro in this setup. So what happens is nothing happens on this low end stick and people ask why doesn't it start until 50 percent it has nothing to do with the throttle there is no stick to emphasize this i actually can have just a switch like i have here off then we request an rpm and then we go even higher and we request a higher rpm so here i have my uh it doesn't matter to have a stick I can have a switch just as uh, I have just off and then we have soft start up to in this case the requested stops at uh, let's see here 1987 okay if I need to change that then I need to change what this switch outputs meaning let's say 
in this case I have have it um, this is my idle switch so I go into the radio and I go to my throttle curve and it's a flat curve 97 percent if I change this to uh, 94 percent it actually we can only just do like this and you can see on the requested RPM on the screen here is lowering. So there is a translation, uh, but it has nothing to do with the stick actually. It's it's just an output. I could use any channel on the radio and output. If I had a radio with a four-way switch, I could use that. I could even make this knob just have the, the head different head speeds. There is no flying around in normal mode throttle. That's the point here. So that pretty much concludes the programming part of the YG controller. As it is pre-programmed, there is not much to do. If you want more information on the other settings and the LEDs and everything, watch my Electric Governor remake video. It has more detailed information on that one. This video was purpose to make to uh, for instructions on the YG Mikado OEM version.